Hi, I'm Kevin Castaneda, and this is Kevin's Mindset, where we talk everything finance, investing, mindset, and productivity. And in this video, I want to talk about Enphase stock and why I think Enphase stock is insanely undervalued and it's ready for a huge jump. So if you do enjoy this video, go ahead and smash the like button. Also subscribe if you do want to watch more of my content in the future. And if you want, you could comment down below if you have any comments about this video, of course. And also sign up with public down below and get up to $70 of a stock of your choice just for signing up. Now let's head straight into the video. Okay, so Enphase stock. Enphase stock has been quite interesting. It seems to have been bouncing around that 160 to about the 200 range. Now we haven't had touched that 200 range in a while now. We tend to hover around the 180s. However, the extremes were the one were the 200s and the extreme lows was around the 120s, which we saw in February and March. And with that, I think we have a really interesting point for this stock where we're hovering around that 160 range again, which is a pretty good buy price for myself. That's where I've been buying. I have my average at about 165. And I think that Enphase is an interesting company because I think that a lot of people see it as a crazy growth stock that might have too high of a forward PE for what it is right now. However, I personally don't see it that way as I know that Enphase has a lot of room to grow. And also, as if you look at their 10K form, if you read their 2020 10K form, Enphase's company discusses that how they think that they can double, if not triple, they literally say this in their 10K, that they can double, that they could basically double their revenue in a year because they think that they have way too little amount of resources and way too many, way too little chips available to their disposal. And if they don't have enough chips and they can't make enough microinverters, and what does this do? This causes them to not be able to sell enough microinverters, which is literally the whole point of their business. And why can they not sell so much? Because there's a chip shortage. And with this chip shortage, it causes them to not be able to go and say, hey, I need this many uh, chip inver chips in order to make my microinverters so I can sell them. So basically, there's a bunch of pent up demand from customers and these customers can't get their hands on the devices that Enphase sells. And because of that, Enphase is really primed for a huge explosion in earnings in the next few months, if not the next few years. And I think that this provides a great opportunity for us as the investors. If you believe that supply chain constraints will ever subside and that these supply chain, and then once they um, subside, that Enphase will be able to capitalize on this opportunity and be able to finally get in those orders and sell to their customers, then you believe in Enphase, right? Because Enphase literally said in their 10K, hey, we we have a lot of demand, but we don't have the means of getting microinverters. We are making microinverters right now because we don't have enough chips because there's a chip shortage. So we're placing our orders, but we don't know if they'll get filled. And with that, that leads us to a point now where it's like, okay, if these orders aren't getting filled, we know that eventually they will have to get filled. So that leaves me very bullish on Enphase because if Enphase eventually gets these orders filled, they will continue to grow, 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 grow. And a company where their revenue can two to three X, I don't care about bottom line right now, honestly, but if the two to three X of revenue, come on, you have to take some bottom line out of that. And I think that's insane. I think that's insane for a company like this. That makes me very bullish on Enphase. I think that Enphase will grow dramatically. I think they have a great product, great company, great brand, and I think they're gonna to continue to grow for the next few years. So I'm definitely placing more of my eggs into that basket. And I think Enphase is gonna be a great stock in the future. So I'm buying more Enphase right now. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think Enphase is a deal right now? Do you think it's overvalued and that people are overblowing it? Let me know what you think think in the comment section down below. Also, go ahead and smash the like button if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you do want to watch more of my content in the future. See you in the next one. This was Kev's Mindset.